In Parshish Kisisa, the Torah tells us that Moshe was sitting on top of Har Sinai and he was trying to ingest all of the Torah so that he can then give it over to the Bnei Yisrael when he would come down. All of a sudden, Hashem says to Moshe, go down now. Stop what you're doing. Lech raid. Go down from where you are. Ki shiches amcha, because your people that you brought out of Mitzrayim, they're destroying everything. They made for themselves a golden calf, an egel zahav, and they're bowing down to it, they're worshipping it, it, they're worshipping it, and they're saying that this is their God. Moshe, you have to go down right now, and you have to figure out how to make sense of what's happening. And then Hashem says to Moshe, I saw this people, I've always known it about them. They're a stiff-necked people. Immediately after that, the next pasuk, Hashem says to Moshe, hani chali, And now, leave me alone, and I am going to become angry at them, and I'm going to destroy them, and I'm going to make you, Moshe, into a great nation. There will no longer be the nation of the Jewish people, but there will be the nation of Moshe. So Rashi points out, points out that why is Hashem telling Moshe to leave him alone? We don't see anywhere in the Pesukim that Moshe responded to Hashem, or that Moshe was davening to Hashem. This was a one-way conversation. Hashem was telling Moshe what was transpiring down below. Hashem was telling Moshe that he had to go down there. God in no way was asking Moshe for his opinion. But Hashem says to Moshe, leave me alone. So Rashi points out the following, and I think it's very powerful for us in our own lives as well. He says, Adayin lo shamanu. We still haven't heard, meaning in that pasuk, Sheispala Moshe alehem, that Moshe began davening for the forgiveness for the Jewish people. Vehu omer hani chali, but Hashem says already, leave me, stop, don't daven to me, leave me alone. Ella rather, kan, Pesach lo Pesach. Moshe saw an opening. Behodio shehadavar taloibo. And God revealed to Moshe that whether the Jewish people would continue to exist and whether they would be forgiven would be in the hands, it would be dependent upon Moshe's reaction to what transpired. Sheim yispalel aleihem lo yikolem. That if Moshe was going to daven for them, then they wouldn't be destroyed. So what really transpired here? Moshe didn't daven immediately when God told him what happened. Moshe is just taking it in. He's, he's shaken. He can't believe it. He, he's, he's awestruck. He, he's trying to internalize what God is saying to him. He didn't daven in response. But Hashem told him already, now leave me. Because God knew that Moshe was going to start to daven. So Moshe said, ah, if God says leave me, he's giving me an opening to start davening, to start coming to him, to start talking, and really trying to beseech him on behalf, forgiveness on behalf of the Jewish people. How many times in life that we are in conflict with someone, or someone, we or someone else are so surprised by something that happens, and just can't respond at the moment, and we say to ourselves, I need to sleep on it, or I need to cool down. And we don't know when to re-engage, at what point. So many times we're told, well, when it's the right time, you'll know. And this is what Moshe Rabbeinu sees by virtue of what HaKadosh Baruch Hu said to him. Now leave me alone. Ah, there's an opening. With those words of leave me alone, meaning, well, if I wasn't doing anything, then why would I need to leave you alone? So Moshe walks away that Hashem gave me an opening to be able to daven for the people. And then right afterwards, the words of Ayichal Moshe, that Moshe beseeched Hashem on behalf of the Jewish people. It's important for us to realize that it might not be good during conflict to just try to make amends right away. We might have to wait for the appropriate time, for the right moment. But then, when we see that someone is softening, if we have offended them, or if we are the ones who have been offended, or we are the ones who are in conflict with someone else, and we see that there's a little bit of an opening, there's a little bit of a softening, or we're told by a third party they're not as upset as they were, we have to take advantage of it at the right moment, at the right time, and try to make amends, try to appease them, and try ultimately to restore and, and rebuild our communication and our relationship. Thank you for listening, and have a good Shabbos.